All right, today I thought I would share with you a super easy way to bless and cleanse and protect your home. So this is something I like to do usually at the change of seasons, usually at the change of seasons, um, like summer going into fall or winter going into spring, but you can do this whenever you want. Um, it's super easy. It utilizes things that you probably already have in your kitchen. Um, and if not, they're easy things to get. I'll be getting to the instructional here shortly. So if you are impatient, just fast forward. Otherwise you can listen to these helpful tips. So what this is, is a wash that you are going to use to wash the outside um, and inside of your doors to your house. So like your front door, back door, if you have a garage door that leads to your house, you'll want to do that as well, as well as the window sills of all the windows in your house. And what this essentially is doing is blessing your home. It's cleansing it of any unwanted energies. It's, um, creating a nice energy flow to bring in good things. This one specifically is bringing in good luck and abundance and prosperity. And again, as well as protecting as well, because there's going to be some protective ingredients in here also. To really tweak this recipe um, to whatever you have on hand or whatever you feel drawn to use. But today, here's what we're going to be using. I'm going to be adding in this. It is doTERRA On Guard Cleaner Concentrate from doTERRA um, because this literally cleans, cleanses, <laughs> like germs and grime. But then also it has in um, their On Guard blend of essential oils. So it has cinnamon, eucalyptus, clove, um, wild orange, all that good stuff. And all of those ingredients are, like I said, literally cleansing, like it cleanses germs and grime and everything, but also cleanses the energy, it adds protective energy, and more of that prosperity and joy and abundant energy also. If you don't have this, you could just use some drops of those essential oils that I mentioned. You could, if you have cinnamon sticks, you could put that into the pot while the um, ingredients simmer. You could use dried plants. You don't have to use fresh. So maybe you have like fresh eucalyptus. You could put that in there as well. First things first, get a pot, fill it with water. You don't need a ton of water. I guess it depends on how many doors and windows you have. Get an orange, peel it, put it into the water. I used fresh basil for my garden, but you can use whatever basil you have. If you have the dried basil that might be in your kitchen cabinet, go ahead and use that. You're going to add those together. At this point, you could also add a stick of cinnamon or something if you have that, but you wanna pray over these ingredients and sort of wake up the energy within these ingredients and infuse whatever you're trying to accomplish so the basil for cleansing, protection, the orange peels for or, um, abundance, creativity, joy, and really just pray over it and keep that energy going. I like to stir it clockwise a few times as well. You're gonna let this simmer for like 15, 20 minutes just until it becomes aromatic and the water really absorbs all of the physical and magical ingredients within these items here. Once it has simmered, you're then going to strain these ingredients and put them into a bowl. After that, I like to deposit these ingredients onto my property. So I'll, I'll put them next to my house and my garden or into a corner of my property. It's okay if animals get a hold of these, they're natural. And I also kind of feel like by depositing these ingredients into nature. I'm returning it to the land from where these ingredients came. And then it's also helping to anchor these ingredients and these intentions into my property of my home. So once you've done that, you're then going to pour the water into a bucket. And at this point, you'll either add your essential oils or that doTERRA cleaner that I mentioned. You're gonna get a rag and wipe down all of the doors to your home that either come in or out of your house as well as your window sills. And while you're doing this, you wanna do the outside and inside of the doors. And while you're doing this, you again wanna just kinda of keep that energy around you, that good vibrational energy. Maybe say some more prayers and blessings. And yeah, keep on doing that. <laughs> and then once you are done with this, you can deposit or dispose of the water, however you do normal mop water, whether you pour it down your toilet or what have you, you can also just dump it outside in your garden as well. 